Rosa Parks. She had knighted the civil rights movement in 1955 by refusing to give up her seat to a white person on a Montgomery, Alabama city bus. What kind of courage do you think it takes to make this kind of stand? There's little doubt that by making this stand at this point in history, she was risking everything. As it turned out, fate was on her side because this was the incident that gave rise to a young minister named Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. as the civil rights leader in America. And the rest they say is history. And the lesson is to always fight for what you believe to be right. But the way Rosa Parks fought was with continual dignity and grace. And the other lesson is to always stand up for yourself, even if standing up means to keep your seat. Lamar Jackson, quarterback, Baltimore Ravens. If he nails down the league MVP again, he will be on a very short list of those who have managed to win the award multiple times. Names like Montana, Manning, Mahomes, Rodgers, and Brady. It's crazy when you recall that he had to fight to nail down the contract he so obviously deserved. In a season filled with injuries, teams not rising to expectations, and all of the media attention on other celebrities like her, Lamar Jackson has most certainly risen above it. The lesson? Always know your worth. Never give your talent and ability away, and always fight for what you believe in. However, just make sure you can walk the walk. I love stories like this. There's a really small percentage of people who decide at a very young age that they're going to follow their dream and then actually follow through. One of those is Leonardo DiCaprio. Even though he grew up really poor in an area of Los Angeles filled with prostitution, drugs, violence, and crime, young Leo was wise enough to see beyond it and at just 14 set out to become an actor. And of course it paid off big with his becoming one of the elite actors in the world today. And the lesson? DiCaprio's story is the perfect example of how you should always fight for your dreams and to never allow your current situation to prevent you from achieving your goals. Here's an interesting fact. It's about understanding your worth. How much does a bottle of water cost? At a convenience store, it's a dollar. At a restaurant or a hotel, it's about three dollars. At the gym, it's four dollars. That same exact bottle of water costs six dollars at a movie theater or eight dollars at the airport. How is this even possible? It's the same exact bottle of water. The only difference is the location and how its perceived value changes depending on the environment. If you ever feel undervalued or maybe a bit underappreciated, then maybe you need to change your environment. Put yourself in the right location and surround yourself with people who understand and appreciate your worth. It can make all the difference.